You guys read the title right. We're not talking about lighting or cameras. Instead, today I wanna to talk about Instagram because over the last few months, I've earned almost $5,000 from Instagram with very little time invested. Today, I wanna to share how I learned to tickle the Instagram algorithm to push my reels to millions of views and get a decent check while doing so. First, let's lay a little bit of groundwork. Reels are Instagram's response to TikTok. Basically, they are short form vertical videos that you can swipe between with minimal distractions. The goal is to put you in a content consumption coma likely to eventually stuff the platform with ads. Now Instagram is pushing reels hard. They've made navigating to them the center button of the app. If you tap one in a story, you are pulled into the reels feed. They're being integrated on Facebook and Instagram is even paying people large chunks of cash to create reels. This payment is called the reels bonus play. It's currently only offered to US creator accounts. So if you have a business account, you will not qualify. If Instagram does choose your account, you will get a full screen notification that it's available. It's very straightforward. You are offered a maximum dollar amount if your reels can accumulate a certain number of views within 28 days. For me, I can earn up to $1,200 if my reels get 1.09 million views. How much you are offered and how many views you need to earn that money seems to be all over the place. I've heard of people being offered $30,000 in a month. They can hit tens of millions of views, but I've also heard of people with small followings being offered $800 if they can hit 100,000 views. Instagram hasn't really shared details on how this is calculated, so beyond that, it's a mystery. Back to my experience. I got a notification that I could get up to $1,200 if I could get a million views within 28 days. If I didn't hit a million views, I would still get paid, I just wouldn't reach the maximum. The payout is inflated up front and then declines the closer you get to the maximum, so your first 100,000 views might generate about $300, whereas the last 100,000 views might only generate $70. The first month that I got this opportunity, I experimented a lot. I used some trending sounds for photography humor, I did some behind the scenes and educational posts with images that previously performed well. I tried making a reel that was simply visually appealing, but by far Part, my most standout post was different from the rest. That same month I had my first child, so I made a reel promoting her as my new second photographer, strapped to my chest complete with a mini camera in her hands. Out of all the reels I made that month, this was probably the easiest one. It was a single clip with a simple zoom effect in Premiere Pro. But despite a lack of information, without a trending sound, and with no production value, this reel racked up 1.1 million views. In my first month, I learned that any type of content had the potential to reach a wide audience because the algorithm is so good at identifying who will be most interested in it. As long as people consider the video good and engage with it by watching the full video, liking, commenting, saving, and sharing it, it's very easy for your reels to reach way beyond your following. If you look at my statistics for this period, I reached 60 times as many non-followers as I did followers with my reels. When I'm just doing regular photo posts, I find it difficult to even reach 2x my followers. I also gained over 8,000 new followers that month, more than I gained the entire previous year. Now, I'm a very analytical person, so when I'm trying to succeed at something, I tend to look for rules and patterns that I can use to my advantage. And over the course of that first month, I spent a lot of time viewing Instagram Reels. I noticed that there were these Reels that kept getting shown to me that I was completely uninterested in. They had nothing to do with my interests, but they often had extremely high light counts and views in the millions. I'm sure you've all seen it, those Reels that after watching you think to yourself, why does something this stupid generate this much traffic? After enough repetition, I recognized that all of these reels followed one of multiple blueprints. You won't believe what this audio sounds like in 3X. This filter shows you what color eyes look best on you. Play this video in reverse. Remix this video and see if you can beat me. What was even more perplexing to me about these videos is that they had low likes and comments, but incredibly high views. So how is it that a reel can have terrible engagement but still be pushed out to so many people. And then it dawned on me. All of these videos convince viewers to create their own reel. If you wanna try an effect out, you have to make your own reel. The same is true for using audio. The same is true for hearing audio at a different speed or playing it in reverse. And if you decide to remix a reel, you are making a reel. It seemed clear to me that when people watch your reel and then navigate to make their own reel, that is an uncharted form of super engagement that just trumps all other metrics. Well, at least I had a theory that this would work, but I had to test it myself to be sure. And this was good timing because the first month of my real bonus had finished and the offer refreshed. I received the exact same payment cap and the same view goal. Now I needed to make a reel that would encourage others to make their own reel. 
I felt that in order for this to be successful, I had to get a decent response from my audience, which is all photographers. I found the perfect option. It was a filter called Color Shift, and it was essentially a game where you had to correctly pick the odd hue out of a series of colored circles. Now you've probably already seen this, but I'll just play the reel here anyway. That video took 30 seconds for me to record in my car and a couple minutes to add the speech in. I posted it and I waited. About a week later, I saw that I had a ton of notifications that users had created a reel using my audio. I navigated to the video to see that it was now at 200,000 views after having virtually no interaction for the first 10 days. And then an hour later, it was at 400,000 views. By the next morning, it was at 2 million. The video continued gaining over a million views a day for the next week. And just like all those other reels that I had seen, the engagement rate was awful. Likes, comments, shares, saves, all the indicators that show a great post were terrible. I shared this experience on my stories and I suggested that other people try it. For many people that use the effect and my sound, the same thing happened. Francisco got 2 million views, Quay got 10 million views, but those two weren't impressive because they already have a big following. What really impressed me is when Angel Valdez, I saw him pass me and he had 13 million views even though when he first posted the video he had 400 followers, which is just insane. Now I mentioned previously that when I made reels the first month and I got about 3 million views, I also grew over 8,000 followers. So right now, pause the video and comment below how many followers you think I gained with the color shift video racking up 10 million views. 1100. I only gained 1100 followers over that 30 day period and honestly it's probably less from the color shift video and more from my other posts and being featured across Instagram. So that just goes to show that educational or focused content is far better at building a following than something generic that just gets a ton of views. Now the story doesn't end there. Yes I had my first example of my theory working but I wanted to see if I could push it further. Could I do the same thing without discussing photography at all? For my next Reels bonus play period, I created a Reel using a What Pokemon Are You filter. It's extremely silly, it flicks through a bunch of Pokemon and lands on a random one. But that's not enough to get a viewer to try it. I had to make this filter appear smart, like it actually responds to your appearance. So I made this, eventually making it seem like the filter intentionally chose Doug Trio to make fun of my bald head. I posted this reel, but this time I didn't post it to my feed to basically spare my followers from seeing this awful video. And a few weeks later, that reel is sitting at close to 3 million views, yet again gaining me a $1,200 check straight from Zuckerberg's Metaverse savings account. So there's your algorithm hack guys, make videos that make other people make reels. It doesn't matter if people like the video, it doesn't matter if people comment on it or share it. If the viewers of your reel navigate to make their own reel, your reel will do well. I want to finish with my theory as to why this works. On the surface, you could say if your reel makes other people make reels, then it's good in general for Instagram. And that's why they push them. But I think the reality is darker than that. Whenever you navigate to reels, you are activating the camera and the microphone, which we know is used for collecting user information and building profiles on people. I think Instagram pushes this type of content because ultimately it allows them to collect more valuable data on their users. It's for this reason that I'm unlikely to continue using this technique. I mean, I feel like I could take this right now and shamelessly exploit it daily to just rack up massive views. But if it doesn't grow a concentrated following on the topic I'm interested in sharing, then what's the point? Anyway, I hope you found this uh, Chronicles of Instagram either enjoyable or informative. Keep in mind the date that I post this video because I have no idea how fast this will change. Reels bonus play could get canned, the algorithm could change, or people might simply stop tolerating the low quality content that tends to accompany videos that use this technique. With these social media giants, you just never know. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.